The part 3 of chapter 2 deals with uh, additional gates uh, in addition to those three basic gates. Buffer is a gate with the function that does not change its values for in terms of a logic it does not play any significant role but in actual situation it is used to amplify the signal or to restore the signal in a physical line if you send the signal uh, the voltage level drops uh, as you send the signal in a long distance uh, so the buffer is uh, to uh, serve as a repeater simply to restore the signal so in uh, logic we rarely use this symbol but in actual physical consideration we put this buffer when uh, the long path is required to send the signal. NAND gate is basically the output of AND is inverted uh, that is called the NAND function so the function NAND uh, if we have a three input is defined as a uh, AND of three inputs are inverted at the final result uh, NAND gate could be shown using OR gate. Uh, De Morgan's law applies that. So we have a, if we have a inverted inputs and the OR gate, that is the same as a NAND gate. Actually, uh, NAND gate is defined as X, Y, Z, three input AND gate is inverted uh, that is definition of an end but if we apply this one as a de morgan's law then it's the same as uh, distributing each variable with another operations and then operator end is changed to or so this is uh, equivalent to this equation so if we draw this equation in logic symbol we get this one so this is another symbol for NAND gates. NOR gate is a inverted OR. So for three input OR gates, X, Y, Z, and then the result is inverted. That is definition of a NOR. Similarly, if we apply the Morgan's law, NOR gate could be implemented using AND gate and each input is inverted. Another gate type we frequently use is exclusive OR. Exclusive OR function itself is defined as a, this way. So we have two variable input and then X not Y or not X Y is defined as exclusive OR and in symbol we put plus sign inside the circle. The exclusive NOR is a inversion of exclusive OR. So we have exclusive OR and we invert that. That is exclusive NOR. So it's, the result is uh, this equation. So strictly speaking, exclusive OR or exclusive NOR do not exist more than two inputs. Uh, but if we cascade uh, the properties, uh, we have uh, something called the odd function or even function. Though but strictly, uh, exclusive OR or exclusive NOR deals with only two variables. So here is truth table for exclusive OR and exclusive NOR. So exclusive OR, as you can see, if two input variables are of the same value, then the result is zero. And if x, y's are different, uh, we have uh, one. That's the definition of exclusive OR. Exclusive NOR is uh, uh, not of exclusive OR, so we simply change one to zero, zero to one. So this is a uh, what you got. So exclusive NOR is when both inputs are the same, we have a 1, either 0, 0 or 1, 1.
So exclusive OR has another name, which is called equivalence function. And we use a symbol, this one, three bars. So exclusive OR, exclusive NOR, strictly defined for two inputs, uh, but we can extend that with more than two. Then we have uh, this kind of a result. Uh, we have that. And the exclusive OR has uh, some very interesting identities uh, as, as given here, and thus those identities uh, we will use that in later chapter. So first identity is that exclusive OR with a zero does not change the variable. So a variable X is binary variable, so it's either one or zero. So if we have a one, one exclusive zero is a one. Zero exclusive OR zero is a zero. So some variable exclusive OR zero, the variable does not change. And the exclusive OR with the same variable, always same value, so we have a zero unconditionally, and we can have a com commutative law. We can change the order of a variable. We also have an associative law, so we can group in different orders. And here, exclusive or with the one. The variable is inverted. So I suppose x is a 1, then 1 exclusive or 1 is a 0. If x is a 0, 0 exclusive or 1 is a 1. So exclusive or with the 1, we invert the variable. Exclusive or with the variable and its complement is always 1 because they are always different. Here, is a symbols uh, for exclusive OR and exclusive NOR. So what we have is we attach some arc in, in, in front of the OR gate. Uh, so this is a symbol for exclusive OR. And, and then if we put a bubble at the output of the OR gate, which becomes exclusive uh, NOR. Strictly speaking, if you remember, exclusive OR and exclusive NOR are defined only for two variables, so we have uh, symbols for two inputs only. Exclusive OR can be implemented actually using basic gates uh, of AND OR uh, this way, or using NAND gate that way. 